Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to talk about guides. Good or bad? So those of you who've seen me model before know that I'm uh, on the, 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 I don't really care for guides that much. I just don't use them very much. And part of it is just how I learned to model my process that I go through. Uh, guides never made it into that, but I've also run into spots where they've kind of gotten in the way, but because of multiple requests from you, our viewers, I have gone back and taken another look at guides. And with that, I want to present some information that maybe guides aren't so bad after all. They might have some good uses. So this is guides, good or bad. What we're gonna look at here is, I just have a couple of faces. There's just a couple of rectangles on the ground. So obviously the way guides work, come in here, I click tape measure, I click on an edge, I pull that wherever I want, I can type a specific dimension or I can just uh, click a line where I want and I get that line. I, I can, that guide goes in and I can reference that and if I want to, I can come back and I can draw along that guide. I can also use the intersection point between that guide and other things. Like that. And when I'm done, here's the nice piece about it. This piece right here is one piece, right? So if I grab push, pull, and push that up, I'm pushing that whole thing up. The alternative to this, of course, is to come in and do something like grab this edge right here and maybe I will move it over instead. So I get that line at the same spot. Um, I could also do something like come to this point, say I want to come over four inches, type four inches, enter, and then pick up that point and draw a line across like that. Give me the, a similar thing to what I got going on here. Um, lines, of course, edges, I can connect together. Just like, I mean, this is drawing with edges. The downside here is this is now two separate surfaces. So over here where I could grab this one surface and just pull it right up. Over here, I'd have to do two and then probably come in here and clean this up again. So this is the big difference right here is that guides don't break faces. Edges immediately break faces because this is what they're designed to do. This is, everything is acting according to plan right now. So um, the thing that gets to me Again, this is this is my personal thing, is I don't like these edges shooting off in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but it's it's really kind of becomes nitpicky at this point. This really comes down to how did I teach myself how to model in SketchUp, which is what I did. Uh, and I was always drawing edges like this and accepting the stuff was gonna break. And then if I came in and deleted something like this, this surface would heal and I'd have this here. It is an extra step though. It's not the best way to do it. With with guides, this piece is already two or one piece because it never got broken because guides don't break geometry. The other thing I complain about these edges being here, these lines being here, um, I could always grab these and put them, you know, put my guides onto a tag or something like that, but I don't even have to do that because I can go into view and I can turn guides off at any time and they all go away regardless of context, whether they're inside a group, outside a group, whatever, I can just switch them off. So my argument that, oh, these, these guides are in the way, I don't like this. And we've all seen, anybody who's seen models from a 3D warehouse or has that, that one person they know that, that models with a lot of guides knows that spider web look where they got a hundred guides floating all over the place. But realistically, even complain about that's kind of silly because it's just so simple to toggle it off like that. And to that end, <laughs> I also have this button to delete all guides. So again, regardless of context, I can hit delete all guides and they're gone from my model. So if I'm going to post something up on 3D Warehouse or whatever, I could do that and you know, that would be simple enough to, to clean up. So my complaint about how guides get in the way and that I don't like the way to look is not really a valid, I'm arguing against myself right now, yes. Not really a valid concern because I have those those options where I can toggle guides on and off and I can delete all guides of my model with the click of a button. It's kind of silly. Add that to the fact that it doesn't break geometry. And there's a lot of cases where simple geometry like this is great for using guides. So is there situations where guides aren't ideal? 
Well, I'm glad I asked. So over here I have uh, some geometry. Uh, these are just kind of same rect similar rectangles just raised up. Um, guides do work the same. They work in 3D. So I can grab this edge and I can pull it this way, or I could grab this edge and I could pull it down like that. So I can go in three dimensions. It's not like limited to a face or anything like that. Um, again, I can, same thing though, I can draw, I could draw a line, I could grab this midpoint and draw an edge across there. So everything works the same. Um, the danger of breaking geometry, in my experience, increases as you're working in 3D. 2D, it's pretty easy to clean stuff up, not a big deal. Once you get into 3D like this though, um, the possibility of messing your geometry up where you have to go back and once, beyond that, when you have more geometry touching other geometry, right? When I have something like this, that comes over, something like that, now I have connecting geometry. And if I start drawing lines to reference, um, I'm breaking this geometry all over the place and it's connected geometry you know, might cause issues. With guides, you don't have to worry about that. So this is a spot where I don't really, I don't know, I have a harder time, uh, what am I saying? I, I don't know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm having, I have a harder time saying you shouldn't create guides once you get in here, in because it is so much quicker and easier. Look how quick and easy that was. That's awesome. It, it is. It it really is an easier way to break up your geometry. Now there is. I'm gonna undo a bunch of times because I do have one use case where making faces, making edges is easier, and that is with offset. So if I grab offset. I can come in here to this and I can just say, oops, that's scale. I grabbed the wrong one. Offset. So I come in here, offset. I have four edges that are pulled in. I'm done. Doing that with guides, it's, just, it's not impossible. It's a little more work because I have to pull each side in, type the dimension, pull each side in, type the dimension, that sort of thing. Actually, I'll type the dimension because they'll snap to the same side. So not terrible, but this is a four-sided shape. If I was doing a floor plan or something like that and I wanted to offset the whole thing, It'd be a little more work, but not terrible, but it is quicker. But even that, we're going to go a little bit deeper. How does that get, get, uh, see, look, look at my guides getting in my way over here. I'm just kidding. Let's get rid of this real quick. So right here, if I wanted to get a reference of, you know, what would this look like an inch in, I could do that. I could put one right there to do that with guides. Well, there's not way there's, there's no circular guide. So like taking that even further, if I wanted to do something like this, I don't have that option with guides. Now, depending on what you actually want to do, why do I want that? I could still, you know, assimilate the, the snap points that I need for guides, right? Because I come in here and I could say, you know, give me a guide right along the middle and then do that this way too. And then I have that midpoint referenced. And then if the, the thing is I need, okay, now I need to pull this out, whatever, couple of inches, I could grab a guy like that and then pull the same thing this way. And I could, in theory, you know, get a square reference around where that circle is. So there's still an option for guides in this situation um, where I could get the if inferenced dimensions, the dimensions I want to refer to, I could throw in with guides. So it is possible. No, I can't get this nice clean offset where every edge is represented on, this, on the inset line. No, I can't do it with corners or rounded like this. But if the information itself is as simple as how far in is that? Yeah, I'm not getting the uh, exact, um, the corners aren't gonna be exact this way, but I could do that. So it, so yeah, it's, it's, it's not, a question, I guess, I'm talking to myself. It's less a question of in, imitating the exact information you'd get with edges. It's more about getting the information you need from the guide instead. So worth considering. Check out guides. If you don't use guides, please don't use me as a reason you don't use guides because I'm, I'm having a hard time arguing why guides aren't good. And remember, again, I come over here, 
I can toggle guides off so I can see just my geometry if I want. Uh, super easy to work with. So yeah, uh, I don't know. I guess I guess I'm still out. I'm still I still haven't decided if guides are great or if they get in the way. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure. So there you go. You can see I I I I'm arguing with myself, and I appreciate you guys sitting through this argument. But realistically, what I'm struggling with is at this point, why don't I use guides? I mean, they're there. I'm not trying to sell you anything. They've always been there. I just have never put them in this my part of my workflow, and I'm really struggling to figure out why I don't do more of that. So I kind of might, I think I might have talked myself into using guides more. Uh, I guess come check it out. C come to our next live stream. We do live streams Friday at noon mountain time. Um, and let me know uh, catch me. If, if there's a spot I could be using guides and I'm not, let me know. So maybe I can in implement this more, but uh, guides seem to be great. They don't break geometry. They they are toggleable. I can turn them on and off real quickly and easily. Maybe I'm going to be one of those guys who creates a spider web of guides and uh, maybe I'm a guides guy. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to figure it out. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do hit subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, they'll leave us a comment down below. Did I miss a use case for guides that you like to use? Or do you have an argument for or against guides? Or are you keeping an eye on me and uh, do you need to remind me of where I should be using guides? If so, it's all welcome in the comments. We like making these videos a lot. We'd like to be more and they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.